Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this boroscope or endoscope. This is by Hycino. I don't know how to pronounce their name. I'm totally sorry. And they did send me this product for review, but they want me to show you what it is and how it works. And it is really, really cool. Let's take a closer look at this uh, boroscope. Okay, first of all, it comes in this really nice case. It's got a little handle to it, uh, some zippers, some good protection uh, for your tool. And we're going to open this up, and uh, inside you're going to get an instruction manual, some cleaning wipes, and then there is a charger cable because this has got a built-in battery pack to it. Uh, now, the charging cable is just a, um, a USB-A. You do need your own power brake or power supply to a USB-C. I'll show you where that goes in just a minute to uh, recharge this unit. Um, and then it's got the unit itself here. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. So again, you see there's a nice uh, packaging to it. Okay, so as you see, it's got this nice little unit here. This is like a five inch screen. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to go ahead and put all the statistics to this over here on the side for you so you can see what it does because it does um, a video. It takes uh, pictures. Um, it's got uh, all kinds of lights to it. I'm going to give you the resolutions of everything on it. Um, now let's look at the, the the unit part itself. So you have a screen here. There's a power button here at the top. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just turn that on. There are a couple seconds, and it activates and it turns on. Now on the side here, you got this little rubber flap. You open it up. This is where your USB. Uh, C goes into for charging. There's a reset button and there's a TF card or a micro SD card and it does come with a card. It comes with a 64 gig card already so you don't have to worry about it. It is ready to go. Okay, a little more close up uh, look at this for you. So you've got the screen. There's a protective uh, on it right now. Um, over on this side, you, if you can see that there is a camera um, uh, looks like a little camera there. I'm going to show you how to change that to video and so forth. Um, you have your um, degrees. This is in Celsius right now um, because this is a high temperature type camera which is suitable for automotive. So if you need to get this little camera down uh, to inspect a vehicle as it's working and running, um, you know you need to have high temperature. Um, a little light indicator, your SD card indicator, and a battery indicator. And this is your screen actually if you if you notice there's nothing really on it now um, the camera part is right here there's a little cap for it so you want to take the protective cap off and then now you can see that there are some lights to it there's little LED lights and, um, and now if you can see um, it's it's looking at stuff look you can even look at me you know, kind of upside down because the way this is um, but um, the camera is actually a very good quality camera um, as you can see with that it's pretty nice there. So um, I'll show you more about the camera here in just a second. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at these other features. If you if you hit this button, we'll just start on this side. This is your um, settings. So now your HD resolution. If you hit the OK, um, you can and these are up and down arrows, so you can go down. So this is a two megapixel camera, 1920 by 1080. Or you can do the uh, 1280 by 270 or a VGA 640. I'm just going to keep it on the highest one. Hit OK. You're good to go. And you can go down. You can uh, um, date label. That's on. OK. Shutter sound. You can do the shutter sound on and off as well. If you hit this button again, it goes over to the next one. So you can auto power off. You can change languages, your date and time, you can format your card, default settings, internal memory, uh, your version, and then backup. So that's your menu stuff, very easy. As you see, um, this is up and down, these little arrows here. Now this button also, in this mode, if you hit it, it's going to change the, um, the, the brightness of your light. So hopefully you can see this here, that's like bright, dimmer, dim and then off so now you can change your light mode um, with this and, and that's what this little light over here shows that it's a light bulb with three indicators you hit it it goes to two it goes to one so it'll tell you on your screen what the light bulb situation is now okay button this is ready to go to to um you know that's your 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 menu thing so we already kind of i showed you that your your um photo button this is what's going to take a picture so if i um look at it here let's just go let's turn the light on again i'm upside down but i'm going to hit the button you can hear it take a picture and it took a picture i'll show you how to find that picture in a minute so again up and down 
arrow here this is flipping it that's I just there you go I forgot to put that part there so now it'll flip the camera for you so now I'll do another picture and it flips it anyways but that's you can do that there um, as you're working with the camera and then over here is your mode button so now your mode button if you press it it'll, it'll it's changing so uh, you can see up here this is a, a video um, camera that's your your pictures so here we go you can scroll through the pictures that I took and then um, that's a camera video and then your file so that's what the mode button does there now let's come back to this to this part because this is your um, your wheel that will actually change this um, if you could see this thing move in here um, as I use the dial this will go a uh, left and right uh, really good I mean this goes like almost all the way around you can see it, it goes up onto itself and then all the way back and almost onto itself that way too so super super huge range of camera movement once you get this down there and the cable is is kind of a semi flexible you can see I could I could bend it and it's gonna stay just like that um, pretty pretty nice very impressive okay so now you can see this thing is really really cool I've never used this kind of thing before um, but nice so who would use this well if you are say an inspector a home inspector and you need to look behind a wall all you got to do is put a very very small hole into that wall to feed this through and now you can look up inside the wall and you can check for insulation you can check for pests whatever it is you want to do also for automotive I mentioned this earlier a lot of automotive people will use this because if you're if you're working on an engine and you need to see what you know down way down in in between small cracks of the engine to make sure there's if there's any leaks or whatever it is you're inspecting you can run this through this is about a five foot cable um, line that you can run into and down in between um, you know the engine parts to see if you have engine leaks again this is a high temperature uh, if, if you're plumbing you can get this down into uh, a little bit of the drain to see if there is a, a big clog or some roots or things like that now, it's not super huge you're not going to do a big plumbing thing like that but if you just have a sink or or something you want to uh, take a look at um, you can do that now I have to mention this um, it's not listed on the on the website but uh, this is not made for human orifice inspections um, if you understand what I'm saying uh, this is not made for the human body okay this is made for for pipes and engines and walls and things like that um I, I i hate to have to mention this but i do have to mention it because uh people will uh think things that uh this is not designed for they have other things designed for that so anyways i just had to throw that out there um now um i, I want to try to show you more stuff with this so i'm going to see if i can go and uh and maybe stick this down in my engine to give you more of an idea of what it would be like uh, to do that or some other places now when you're recording the video part of this you can actually record audio so if you need to to record something say for a, a customer or you know you're if you're a mechanic and you need to, to do this for a client you can um, you can record your voice as you're recording what you're seeing uh, which is pretty cool so I'm going to uh, attempt to do that <laughs> and give that a test and I'll show you some of those clips right now okay now I'm in my car and I'm going to just kind of put this down into the engine area where I can't even see what's going on down here and let's move this up let's move it down and we can see different things now I'm no mechanic so I don't even have an idea of what I'm looking at um, so there you have it, a detailed look at this endoscope or a uh, borescope, which is more commonly known as for uh, for like automotive and that kind of stuff. If you are looking for something like this, this one may be the right one for you.